So hey, welcome to this this journey. We are on a seven day trip through the rivers and bays of North Carolina and Virginia. Yeah, today's day we leave Beaufort. It's been nice to us. We've had a great time. Laundry, water, fuel, all of the essentials recovery period from Corrosion X and it's time to start the journey again. Yeah, we love Beaufort. It's a great place. Ugh, we'll probably stay here a long time. Uh, but we're heading north. Today's trip is pretty short and we're going to break up this journey, which is a total of about 170 nautical miles. We're going to break it up into some short five hour days. So today's trip is 25 nautical miles. We're heading to Oriental, North Carolina. We're going to show you uh, the trip on the way and maybe if we're there early enough, we'll drop the dinghy and go into town and explore Oriental. So, so excited. Maybe they'll have ice cream. It's going to be a hot day. We're going to need it. It is a hot day. It's already hot and it's early in the morning. <laughs> Hungry for the road all my life. Thirsty for adventure all my youth. Chasing all my freedoms down Liberty Avenue. So, this stretch of the intracoastal waterway, the ICW, way different than what we're used to back in Texas or even in the Gulf Coast. Back in that area of the ICW, it's really about commercial traffic. So the channel is wide, it's cut 20 feet deep, and a lot of barge traffic too. So it's safe as far as the depth is concerned, but on this side of the ICW, this is backwaters, and maybe it was used for trade back in the 1800s, I don't know, but it's not as deep not as well marked. There's actually shoaling, like right now I'm trying to I'm watching depth really good because there's some shoaling, some six feet, four feet shoaling. And I uh, just gotta trust the charts. I use Navionics, but um, sometimes you have to go outside of the marked channel to actually be at the proper depth. You have to turn on autopilot when you actually turn it on. <laughs> so anyway. We have good wind right now, but I'm just about to turn dead downwind, so we don't have any sails out yet. And we're gonna go into the forest here in a minute, and the wind should probably die. These waters once teemed with swashbucklers like Blackbeard and Captain Kidd, sinking plunder and adventure amidst the coastal labyrinth. But now, cypress trees draped in Spanish moss rise from the swamps, their roots cradling a hidden world of otters, herons, and alligators. Yeah, we used to always, always be so scared going under bridges check the manual. How tall are we? How tall are we? Yeah, it's like no big deal these days. Like, whatever. 58 feet, we're good. 60 feet, we're good. So. Things get easier the more we're out here. It's just so much easier as we go. This stretch of the waterway is called Adams Creek. It's full of pleasure boaters, shrimpers, and the timeless Carolinian designs with bright, colorful siding, wraparound porches, and steep gabled roof lines. Adams Creek leads into the open bay of Nueces River, a beautiful playground for sailing. Well, so I think we're titling this series Rivers and Bays because really, there's a little bit of motoring each day, and then that's nice, that's simple, charges the batteries and whatnot. I actually got some work done. And then you have these open bays, which it's actually a river, but it's a, it's a bay. We've got 12, 10 to 12 knots of wind, full sails out, and it's just awesome. So you, I love this, it's just a good blend of traveling and bay sailing. And so often as, as a cruiser, you do your passage and you get to a destination. 
and you don't really get to enjoy this kind of bay sailing. But here we are. I mean, just enjoying a lovely bay sail. I don't even know how fast we're going. It doesn't matter. That's one reason why we have the short day. It's just nice. It's real nice. Too good. After a lovely sail and a quick lunch, it was time to drop the dinghy and head to Oriental. All right, so welcome to Oriental. We were gonna have like a fun time hunting down some ice cream, but right here at the docks, right across the street, this is the ice cream shack. I mean, smoothies, coffee, and ice cream. So, made the hunt for ice cream super easy. From salty saints to pirate villages, Oriental's history is as rich as its charm. Stores for provisioning and yachting supplies like this one, fresh seafood, crepe myrtles, and cottages. It's small and low-key fun a perfect stop for sailors passing through. All right, guys, that's pretty much the town tour. Uh, thanks for joining us in Oriental. I hope you like day one. We're heading back to the boat. We're gonna crank on that generator, have some air conditioning, and then we're going to be off tomorrow for day two, Rivers and Bays. See ya. <laughs>